What's going on guys? Welcome back to another High Prairie Kitchen. So teal season has begun in a lot of states around the country and with that being said I figured I'd share with you guys my favorite teal recipe. It's super simple, takes three ingredients and about 10 to 15 minutes of time. Let's do it. Okay so here I have my teal breast. I put them in water, put them in the fridge as soon as I get them and then just cycle the water out every day or so for you know as long as they're in the fridge. I'm trying to get all the blood out I can. This is how I do with my goose, duck, whatever. So, they've been in the fridge for a couple days now. And now, I'm just gonna rinse them off before I put them on a plate to get them ready. And what I'm doing here is I'm checking to make sure there's no feathers and no shock. So, there's one clean breast. Put him on the plate. And then these, these are just like the little, uh, little bottom parts on under breast. They're really good too, don't let them go to waste. So, you know, you just kinda slap them on top of each breast. And there we go. There's our teal breasts that are clean. There's no feathers. There's no, shouldn't be much shot in there. You might miss some, you know, it's always uh, one thing you gotta watch out for when eating, you know, stuff like duck, goose, pheasant, stuff like that. Always gotta watch out for that shot. So it's always a good idea to try and get as much of it as you can out while you're, you know, prepping them for cooking. Now we just have to season these up and they're ready to go on the grill though. Now that you got your teal, the only other two ingredients you need are Worcestershire sauce. I'm just gonna put a few drops on each one. There we go. And steak seasoning. Montreal steak seasoning is what I like to use. You can use whatever seasoning you prefer. And we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on. There we go, now our teal is seasoned and ready for the grill. I just gotta throw these guys on the grill. Like that. And what we're going for is medium rare to medium. You do not want to overcook a lot of wild game, especially duck. It can pull out the gaminess and also make it really tough. So you do not want to overcook it. So medium to medium rare. We're going medium rare, that's how I prefer it. So we'll flip these a couple times and they'll be done here in a few short minutes. All right, I think it might be done. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, they're really good looking stuff. So you might see some red stuff coming out the top of them. It's not blood, it's nothing to worry about. It's very normal. Um, you'll see it if you cook a turkey as well, like during Thanksgiving, you know. Uh, it's, just, it's just like juices from the meat. So it's not blood, nothing to worry about wanted a little bit yeah see when I poke it like that that looks really good and we got these little nuggets here you can just eat those all right got our teal steak done now it's time for the most important part the taste test I'm just gonna Mm hmm That is good. Teal is one of the best eaten waterfowl anyway, but with this recipe, it can't be beaten. You know, I've given it to people that have never tried duck before in their life. I've given it to people who thought they hated wild game, thought they hated waterfowl, and they all said they love this recipe. So give it a try. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Maybe you have an awesome teal recipe that I haven't heard of yet. I love trying new recipes. So if you do have a sweet duck recipe, let me know down below in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with our latest hunting and fishing exploits. We're going to be doing all kinds of waterfowl hunting. We're going to be doing upland hunting, deer hunting, maybe do some predator hunting. Who knows? The sky's the limit. In addition to, we will also be doing more of these high prairie kitchens, cooking up waterfowl, upland, deer, whatever. You know, if we can do it, it's a bunch of wild game outdoor recipes. If we shoot it, if we harvest it, we're going to show you how we cook it. So if any of that sounds right up your alley, hit subscribe down at the bottom of the page, and we'll catch you out there, guys. See ya.